Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Um, today as you can see I have baby Kellen here and I have not given him a name just yet but this is Kellen by Mesa Said and he is 19 and a half inches and seven pounds six ounces according to the website measurements. I have not did my own as of yet. Sometimes I don't bother with that. I just go off of what the sculptor uh, says. Um, and he is painted by me. He will be rooted by me. He is still a work in progress, guys. And when I say work in progress, sometimes that is meaning he still have to go on the paint table. And then sometimes it's that. And also he still needs his eyelashes, his eyebrows, his hair, you know, that type stuff. So for him, that's what he needs. He still got to go back on the table. Um, I just stopped short so that I can include him in an event that I have with the paid channel membership. So anyway... Um, before I get into that, guys, I'm asking you if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And, guys, I would love for you guys to join us in the paid channel membership, which we call the Chatterbox. The link is in the description box or on my About Me tab. Sometimes you do have to um, sign up from your laptop or desktop, but however. Um, it is $4.99 for you to join, and you do have to be at least 18 years old. And then that membership is just a lot of behind-the-scenes exclusive content that is shared. And, um, yeah. So, we've been having a lot of fun in that. But anyway, let's talk about this boy. Um, I really, really love this sculpt. Um, he's wearing newborn size clothes. He's, like, so perfectly newborn. He's not... Um, you know, he's not that, that awkward in between size. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in. So I have my windows open a little bit, but it is, it's not a bright, bright day out. Hold on. So when he's completely done, I'll be able to do a lot more um, with him. So I am going to try to get over here and see if I can show a little bit of his movement even though I would have preferred to do this at a different date but I'm gonna show his little feet so um, his toes are not separate at all so they're all together so if you put him on sandals you'll have to put him on the sandals that you know, just go on the feet and doesn't have that toe prong, which is nice anyway. I actually think those are safer for silicone. I mean, you can do them, but I think those are safer anyway than to have something pressing and putting pressure on the actual, um, you know, silicone. You don't want to have a rip or a tear. Um, let's see, we're going to zoom out just a little bit more. Um, he's very soft, if you can see, he's a very, very, very soft baby. I love Maria's silicone. I cannot stress that enough. I always look to see who's using Maria Grover to pour because <laughs> if I like the scope and Maria's pouring it, I will do anything I can to get that baby um some some sculpts i like but if it's poured by pores that i don't like work or i'm not as in love with their silicone pores i either the color or the feel or whatever i i'm i'm probably gonna pass on it but if it's poor by Maria grover i i will go for it so sculptors out there if you're considering who you want to pour with I don't get paid for this obviously <laughs> but this is just my opinion I think she does an amazing pour um I love her pour I love silicone studio pour but this the uh, Maria Grover is the softest um see that it's really I love it oh my gosh so, I mean, I, I, 
can't. So I definitely have to support his head because it will fall all the way back. And I know there's people that talk bad about, oh, you know, I don't want a baby head that's falling back. Like it's, you know, it's gonna break or this or that. Now mind you, he does need more work done. So you might see a shine spot or something like that. But I just wanted to show you guys his softness. And if you don't be so judgmental, I will do that. <laughs> And this is just to to share. Um, but yeah, I don't care what people say about that. Um, I like it. I feel like, you know, first of all, people got to understand this is a, still a form of art and we are to enjoy our, our dolls. But when you spend in this kind of money, why should you rough house your doll anyway? So if you feel like you're going to make the head fall off or something because you're going to be doing it like a bouncy ball or yo-yo, then that's on you, like, for real. Um, but he is, like I said, very, very soft. I do love, um, I do love that the, uh, I'll do a, a different video of him when he's completely done because I don't feel, I would have to really strip him down to, to get that that done to show you guys but um i do love that this sculpt does um mesa said listened she heard us and she gave him some real gave him actually a bum bum because the last sculpt that i had from her i did not have <laughs> didn't have no bum bum and i was just like uh no and his boy bits look fairly realistic um, so that improved as well. I don't know about the girl bits because I don't have, I didn't see the girls, but I think even that has improved. So, but a lot of people are like, oh, he looks, you know, just like Drew to me. He has a different look, but definitely a similarity. Um, he has an open mouth and that's another thing I still haven't finished inside his mouth. Um, he does have, his tongue is in there and it's painted and everything I just still need to do in the right here in his lip and right there the top of the lip but he has a, a closed mouth and so it is a little challenging to get inside the the mouth but I love a closed mouth baby I feel like you know it just it's just something about the closed mouth baby that I like versus the gaping open mouth I don't mind an open mouth when it's in a certain position and stuff like that, but um, I just think it's so cute. And so sometimes he even looked like he has like a little overbite, depending on how you ankle him. And he looks like he doesn't have a neck, which I think most newborns do. Um, but um, he does. It's just his head. See, he has a neck. It's just... His head falls down into his chest, and I love it. I do. I really, really love it. I love him a whole lot, but mostly, the most, I know this sounds so crazy, but I'm so in love with the way his silicone feels. He has really nice ears, too. His ears are, are sculpted really nice as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't tell what you guys can see. Um, I will say the softer the silicone, the more challenging it is to paint. Um, but I think for me, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, I, I, every time I get to painting again, I'm like, okay, I won't ask for this soft again ever. And then it's like, when I get done, I'm like, oh my God, I, I love it. I, I have to do, <laughs> I have to do all my babies like this. So anyway, um, you know, like I said before, Everybody knows it's no secret I'm a fanatic for really soft babies, but I do have babies that's not as soft as him. He, him and Phoebe are my softest babies. Um, but uh, let me see. I will do, let me, uh, I'll do the bin for you guys. <sighs> like his midsection is, he's, He's going to bend. Um, he actually will bend 
forward like he's soft like this part as you can see he will curl all the way in that way he does and this one does not have a drinking wet he just have um armatures in his arms not in his legs and then of course he will bend backwards and that's you know i told you the backward bend is an easy thing it's the bend otherwise but yeah so he's he's really nice and i you know i really really enjoyed um being able to see him like when he got done and he put on his clothes and stuff like that. And I, yeah. So anyway, that is him. I, I lost my train of thought for some reason, but um, I haven't named him yet. I really like the name Kellen, but I'm usually pretty reluctant to keep in sculpt names. So, um, yeah, so I usually kind of shy away from that um, as much as possible. But I do love the name Kellen, so I don't know. But I'm going to try to give him a different name. So anyway, guys, I have a gender reveal for my Billy that I'm painting for myself, for my personal collection. Fun, fun things about that baby. Um, different features in that one than my Ziggy. And I pretty much... Um, even have a name for for that particular baby already and um, but I, I was gonna sh give do the gender reveal before it was painted but I think I'm gonna do the gender reveal after so I think you guys won't see that baby until after the fact it's what I'm thinking with that one I also have another baby coming it's not by Mesa said and I think I probably said that wrong in videos it's poured by Maria Grover but it's by another sculptor. Is it something Ina Volkerbridge or something? I don't know, child. I, I would have messed up. I don't know. But when it gets here, I will do a blank kit review of that one. Um, it's the new one out, uh, Lawrence. And so I'm expecting that one in probably another week or two. Because um, it takes two to three weeks for them to pour. So, And that's another thing I like. Normally, they are really good about, you know, getting them out in a really reasonable amount of time. Um, you know, even if it's not two to three weeks and it's four weeks, that's still better than waiting three, four months, six months for a kit. Um, because as a painter, as a collector, um, a lot changes in, in that amount of time. So... Um, especially if you're buying to paint to sell, people lose interest in sculpts because new sculpts are constantly coming out or you, you know, you see something else that you want <laughs> instead, you know, so a lot of stuff happens in between time. But anyway, I just thought I would come on and show him, um, I don't know, this, this silicone, I don't usually, I'm not a person that usually like to do a lot of rubbing on my silicone and stuff like that. But I just really love the way her silicone feels. Um, it's not even about just about the softness itself. It's just every silicone feels different. Like you can have two equal flex 20 babies and one can feel very spongy. One can feel very skin like. So it's just, you know, they're just different. And I don't think people understand that. But I like the way it feels. Um, as well. I've had silicone that's been soft, but feel kind of spongy and like it feels rubbery. I should say rubbery. And I don't really care for that. But, um, so that's why, you know, I'm very funny about my personal babies and stuff like that. Cause I, I like, I'm very particular about the silicone that I work with and the silicone that I keep in my personal collection. So I have my my favorites so anyway that is it we will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye bye